know is joining us today. So if you hear any weird breathing or movement in the background, Tim. All right. I think this is my third or fourth video that I make about audio, but today I'm going to take you guys from beginning to end. And specifically, I'm going to talk about how I set up the Rode VideoMic Pro settings on the microphone itself and the internal settings on the camera. Meaning we're going to take them out of automatic and put them into manual and I'll show you the adjustments level that I use. Now the second step would be transferring the audio out of the camera into the computer and I'm going to show you the settings I use in Adobe Edition. Now I created my own preset that I'm using now on the MKH416, that's what you're hearing now. I made a preset that kind of works for me. I like my audio to have a little thump to it, a little bass, so I use a limiter. And I'll show you all the settings and different presets that I put together. So that way if you guys like what you're hearing, you can adjust it yourself. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into the camera setting adjustments and then we're gonna switch to me uh, speaking on to the uh, Rode Video Mic Pro so you kind of hear what it sounds. I understand that we're inside. I got soundproofing panels in the ceiling behind me, but these are the same settings that I use when I'm vlogging outside. And I'll show you guys a couple example clips of past videos where I was outside using this microphone and what it sounded like. All right, so let's get into it. Let's start off by talking about the settings on the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Go ahead, turn the camera on. Now one of my favorite features is once you turn the camera on with the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, it actually turns the microphone on automatically. It'll definitely come in handy in the future if you guys are interested, this is a great mic. Now, let's talk about some of the settings. We have a high pass filter here and a negative 10 and plus 20 decibel. Basically, if you're in a very loud environment, you could put the decibel on to, let's just say, a negative 10, and that will help decrease the amount of noise that is uh, coming into your shotgun microphone. But in this case, where we are indoors, I'm not gonna use any of those settings. I'm just gonna keep it as is. Now we're gonna flip down to the internal mic settings on Canon 1DX Mark II. So in your menu settings, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to the picture with the camera icon, and we're gonna scroll down to sound recording. Now once you get into sound recording, usually your camera will come already marked in audio. So we're gonna go ahead and move down to manual. And then the next step is we're gonna scroll down to recording levels. Go ahead and click enter. And from here, starting from the bottom, I basically move the recording settings up one quarter. That is my pre-settings on how I set up the internal audio on the camera itself. Now look at the levels as I'm talking and you'll see them going up and down. But keep in mind that the mic is not facing towards me. It is a shotgun microphone. It's facing the opposite direction right now. But if I start tapping it, you'll notice how the levels start kind of peeking towards that yellow, which is something that we want to stay away from so that your audio is not very scratchy and it's hard to edit in post. That's not something people want to hear. So let's go ahead now and utilize the 1DX Mark II with the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus and I'm going to show you guys what that sounds like using those settings. So right now we're going to go ahead and switch over to this camera. I just put the 16 to 35 millimeter lens on it. Microphone setup settings are exactly the way I showed you guys. And let's start recording. Right now we are filming on the Canon 1DX Mark II. Doesn't have a flip out screen, so hopefully I am within focus. But the important thing here is that you guys are listening to the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Right now, the audio that's coming out of it is unedited. This is the raw settings that I showed you guys to put them on. But now I'm gonna take you to Adobe Edition and I'm gonna show you 
how I edit and post. So we're gonna start off by opening up Adobe Audition and I'm gonna drag a clip that you guys are yet to see into Adobe Audition. Now this is a video clip and then it will automatically extract the audio. Now I already have my preset saved and it's called Omar Hamadi. Let's go ahead and expand the screen full size. Now I'm gonna open up each component that makes up this preset because this is what I wanna show you guys part of the editing process and post the preset that I created to make the audio sound to like exactly what you're hearing right now. This screen recording was also edited in Adobe Audition so it could sound exactly what you listen to now. So if you look closely, I have a parametric equalizer, a graphic equalizer of 20 bands, a studio reverb and a hard limiter. Those are the settings on the screen that you see right now that compose of this preset. So if you want, you go ahead, take a screenshot of it, and you could start off by using these settings if you like what you're hearing, and then you could edit it to your own liking. Let's go ahead and close these. So once you're done, you hit apply, and I'm gonna hit Command S to save and it's automatically going to save this as a separate audio file. Now I'm gonna close Adobe Edition. We'll go back into Final Cut Pro. First thing is I'm gonna take this clip and drag it in, which I already did, and it's right here. And next, I'm gonna take the audio clip that we just edited, and I'm gonna drag it in here. Now the next thing you wanna do is you wanna synchronize the audio with your video. So we'll click on the video file that we have here. There it is. I'm gonna hold Command and I'm gonna go down to the audio file that we just edited. Right click and we're gonna hit Synchronize Clips. Make sure that your settings are set up correctly. You can rename the clip if you want. In this case, I am not. Click OK. And now what happens is Final Cut Pro will automatically sync the audio to your video. We'll go ahead and drag that over. And I'm going to copy, I'm gonna hit Command C on this clip here because I already edited the size of the clip, the scale of it rather, and also the um, color grading. So I'm gonna click here edit, I'm going to paste attributes, click paste, and now this clip matches this clip here. So that's it. That is my post editing process. Now I'm going to click play and we're going to hear this clip play out with the edited audio and the clip that you just heard before it is unedited. And now you'll notice the difference of what it sounds like. Now you're actually listening to the levels um, edited. So this is what it sounds like when I edit the audio. Much different, um, more of a thump, higher, uh, kind of like a bass to it. That's what I like, that's how I like my audio to be. And I'm gonna pop up all the components that make up this preset. And if you guys like it, you could screenshot it and go into Adobe Edition and set it up the way I do. So those are the settings that I use. That's what you're hearing now, straight out of the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, and all the audio you were hearing in the beginning was directly out of this Sennheiser mic, which is still sleeping, plugged into this Mix Pre 3. And then I go into Adobe Edition and I edit. Those are my mic settings. That's how I kind of make these videos. This is what you hear um, in all my videos. If you go back to previous videos that I made, 
maybe like a year ago or eight months ago, you'll notice the audio doesn't sound as good, or to me at least, it doesn't sound as good. Um, and that's it, that's today's video. That's kind of start to finish of how I edit my audio um, in Adobe Audition. I showed you guys the internal mic settings that I use on the camera, on the microphone itself, and that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, go ahead, drop them down in the comments below. I usually get back to everyone that comments. And uh, drop a like if you liked it. And definitely subscribe. Stick around for more videos. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.